What's up, Tori? It's Devin again. Thanks for speaking to me on the phone earlier. In this quick video, I'm going to give you three simple tips you can easily follow so you can start beating Lawn Smith because if you type in Dallas Roofing, they show up first. I'm going to show you how you're doing, how they're doing that so you can beat them. You're probably wondering why I'd even make this video for you, and it's really simple. I found out a little while ago there's lots of roofers out here that are so just busy taking care of their customers. They don't have the time to learn how to make the internet bring them more customers. And the only thing stopping them from hiring somebody to help them is they don't know who is an expert and who's not. So I just started creating these attack, attack plans and just giving them away for free. Lots of people just take this info and do it themselves. But some say, Devin, I like you. I don't have the time to do this. Can you do it for me? Whatever you want to do is like okay with me. I'm just educating you and I'm helping you make a lot of money. I'm going to talk to you about three quick things today. Content, backlinks, and citations. First off though, it goes without saying, you have an absolutely gorgeous website. I love that the very top image you have is a metal roof. It's very clear you guys are trying to get metal roofing jobs. I mean, in your title, you got metal roof, your image is metal roof. It's a beautiful looking website. It's super, super clean. I love this little parallax scrolling effect you've got on this image back here. Great job on the design. What Google cares about when it comes to ranking is all this content that you have written on the site. Didn't mean to click that link. But they want to see a lot of it. The average website on the front page of Google has 1,500 words of content. And you're sitting at almost that much, 1,343. And I don't even know if Lawn Smith has that much. Nope, they're not even at that much. So you're already beating them with the amount of content here. So great job. Another tip, you still want to get to 1,500 words. But also, you want to make sure you're fitting in keywords. I saw that you did that a couple times. Like, for example, you have, uh, you have Dallas Roofing Company right here. But just make sure you fit in as many of these as possible. You don't have to put them in a bunch of times, but one thing is Google does look out for keyword stuffing. So make sure you're not just like throwing keywords together, you're fitting it in. So like we provide the metal roof Dallas residents rely on, or if you're looking for roof replacement, Dallas can trust, or we are your Dallas roofer, or we are the roofer Dallas loves. So like, don't just spam these because Google will penalize you for that, or they'll at least overlook you. And this is harming you. Make sure you put that inside of your content. But great job with the keywords. At least you guys are using keywords. I, would, I wouldn't I would shy away from putting more words on there, but you're doing a good job. If I check your images too, this is one other thing you could do. Instead of just naming them like Home Pick Collage, you can name this Dallas Roofer, Metal Roof Dallas, Roofing Dallas, stuff like that. Um, let's check this one. Same thing, all of these, you can you have a great opportunity to, to get ahead of your competitors by naming your images as keywords. All right, that's my first tip regarding content. My next tip is backlinks. A backlink is when another website is linking to your website, driving traffic to your website. Google's kind of like a popularity contest, so they want to see a bunch of trustworthy, relevant websites vouching for you by linking to you. But they want to see trustworthy, relevant websites. So you're going to get a lot better results having other roofers and contractors linking to you versus having like Pizza Hut linking to you. Google knows you're not a pizza company. So the tool I use to check out backlinks is called Ahrefs. It's a paid tool. You don't need to use it. There's plenty of free tools out there. Just use or just go Google free backlink check and you'll find it. And then you're, it says you're already doing SEO, obviously. So you have 150 websites linking to you, which is a great start. If you go to Lawnsmith, these guys have 334 websites linking to them. And if I were in your shoes, I would just copy them because if these 334 websites are trustworthy and relevant enough to rank them, then they're going to be trustworthy and relevant enough to rank you too. So I would go to each one of these websites one by one and I put a link on each website back to mine the same way they did. A lot of times it's super simple. Like for example, Angie, you create a profile, you put a link in your profile back to your website, that counts as a backlink. So it's super simple, it just takes some time, but if you beat them in content, plus you beat them in backlinks, those two things alone are enough to get you ranked number one organically and start getting all the, free, uh, the calls that come with being there. But I've got one last tip for you, and that's how to show up in the map section. And you see new view roofing is here first. If you wanna be number one in the map section, you need to have more citations than your competitors. If you're wondering what a citation is, it's when you list your name, your address, and your phone number inside of a directory. If you want to know what a directory is, it's a website that allows you to list your business's information like Yelp or Yellow Pages or st White Pages, stuff like that. So if I were in your shoes, I'd figure out what directories New View Roofing was in. i put myself in those same ones and I'd add a bunch on top. So if New View Roofing was in 150 directories, i put myself in at least 300. But that's all I've got for you, Tori. I hope you found this informative and helpful. I tried to keep it as short and to the point as possible. As a quick recap, you want 1,500 words of content on your homepage and you want to put keywords inside of it like you have already. Just make sure you're not, you know, just spamming them. It's called keyword stuffing. You need them, uh, need to make sure they fit in there nicely. And I gave you some examples earlier in the video if you want to rewind and how, how you can fit them nicely into sentences.
you know, if you, the next thing is you want to put the, get all the links going to Lawn Smith and get them linking back to yourself. And finally put your name, address and phone number and more directories and new, new view roofing. If you follow these three tips, this is enough to get your rank number one on the entire front page of Google and get all the free business that comes with being there. Now you've got two options. You can take this information and do it yourself. If you do go this route, I recommend you get started as soon as possible. The sooner you get started, the less catching up you have to do and your competitors are already doing this. If you have any questions or you, have any, you want any help getting this done, give me a call anytime. My phone number is 469-352-2524. I'd be happy to hear your goals and give you a free attack plan on what to do next. Either way, it was great speaking to you earlier, Tori. I hope this video was helpful, and I hope you have an awesome week. I'll see you.